What's up, everybody? This one is for the weekend crew. Let's get into it. Get busy in here. Get busy in here. Yeah, my squad run deep. Yeah, we really in here. I swear, whatever you want, you can get it in here. Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here. But you love it in here. Yeah, you love it in here. Got reviews up in here. We got stories in here. Hit this like, hit the sub, hit the bell. Oh, yeah. Three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Busy Blue, and I am black. With another busy blue and associates morning meeting, y'all. My bad, I didn't do one on Friday, so I said, you know what? Let me get a weekend workers, um, a little bit of something. Let me get the girl, the girls who be working on the weekends a little bit of something. So this is for the weekend staff members. Those people do more of the cleaning. They make sure that the business is ready for Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That we have all the paper clips we need, the packages that we need for new staff, new internal staff. So I want to thank y'all and make sure that I give a video to y'all for today since I did miss Friday. When you come in here, make sure you say good morning. Make sure you say good afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Um, Just to, um, to, just to clock in, okay? Here at Busy Blue and Associates Morning Meeting, you all work for me. And I talk about hot topic gossip and news that I think is interesting. And if you think something is interesting, you can always DM it to me at Busy Blue, no space, no E on Instagram and on Twitter. And maybe I'll use it. Y'all, so this weekend is going to be crazy. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned. Um, the video, I'm going to do a video after this because I got two gifts in the mail. Oh, here's, here's my assistant. He's sleeping on the job. Lou! Wake up. You can't be sleeping on the job. You tired? He's sleeping on the job. Oh, busy. Where is So Deb? You got to ask So Deb. I don't know where So Deb is. At home? I don't know. Let me call him. Let's see. Let's do this live, I guess. But make sure you like, comment, and then we're going to get into some of the company news. I know how we always start over here, company news. The people said, where are you? The people said that. On the live? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Say hey. Say hi. Why would you do that? The people wanted to know where you were. Literally, it says right there on the screen, busy, no, where so deaf. The people wanted to know. So I'm giving the people what they asked. These are my employees. I want to make sure that I'm being as, as great as I can. Say hey to the people. Hey to the people. Okay. What's, 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 what's going on? I'm like just like that. Barely. Barely. All right, let me get out. The people was one. So he is alive. For everybody who was wondering, he is alive. And they said, hey. Okay, thank you. Can you turn the camera back? Okay. Okay, well, I got to do this meeting. So I just wanted to go talk to you. Okay. So as y'all know, as y'all can see, he is alive and well. Okay. Y'all wanted to know where he was. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all what's going on so make sure you say hello and let's get into the news so as y'all know and we'll be doing this more and more we have more volunteers who are coming in for the children's unit y'all know we i've been trying to make it a priority for the children's unit just to make sure that y'all can have whatever y'all need so um y'all know we had a couple of incidents with children getting hurt um one child being killed you know we, and we're we're still working through litigation um, but we did have a uh, a couple of we had a dance week and some of the fathers did come in. Y'all know we are still doing for this month at the end. Uh, this is going to end this month. The real life simulations for kids. OK, so if y'all don't remember, for those staff members who are new, the real life simulation for kids. They are bringing them to grocery stores, making sure that they know what they're supposed to be getting, giving them. Real life scenarios that they have to go through. So making sure that they're ready for the workforce. Um, this last week, we participated in a trade workshop where we made sure that individuals who wanted to go into carpentry, individuals who wanted to go into, you know, any type of trade, wanted to go into cosmetology. They had all of their certificates that they needed in order to really um, get into the field. Now, we're starting young so that the people would know exactly what to do. So. Um, we had that going on, but it was also also Father's Week. So 
Um, let's just take a look at one of the fathers, and we're going to give him an award because he really did play the role that we needed him to play. Okay. If it will let me do it. Hold on, y'all. Every time I get up on here, my internet start acting a fool. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did they do that? Oh, my goodness. It was hectic. Yeah, I lost a nail. Is your mommy? Well, sort of. I call her mommy. <laughs> oh, no. I'd never be one to question the quality of your work. Because you're not being careful. <laughs> Because you're not being careful. So oh, that's girl. not my fault. Are we going to get this one fixed? Yes or no? That would be extra. <laughs> I have to take care of yourself. <laughs> you have to take care oh, of yourself. Just do your best at all. Come on, just do your best at all. That's matter. I love this. Who called this Saturday staff meeting? Me, because I didn't do one on Friday. So I had to do a Saturday staff meeting. So we do have new um employees in. I thought it was so great for him to come in. Um, all the kids gave rave reviews for him. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and let's keep going, y'all. Um, okay, so next story that I want to, or so first story, let's get into the hot topic gossip and news. First thing I want to talk about, and I don't care, I don't care if y'all don't care about it, I care about it, and I'm gonna show it. The Braxton family values is coming back. Okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I love the Braxton Family Values. I feel like I'm a part of the Braxton Family Values. Now, it's going to be interesting not having Tracy there, but I felt like I was a part of the Braxton Family Values. I love them so much. I love being a part of it. I, 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 lo I just love watching it. I love their Christmas specials. I am so excited. We are the Braxtons, and you see that we are not like an ordinary family. Tony Tracy to under tree, not say my MSE will teach you a thing or two with Braxton family values. I wonder if they're going to get Mikey, let Mikey get a little bit more of the show. Because it's, since Tracy is gone, you know, uh, makes you rest in peace. You, do you think they'll let Mikey do a little bit more on the show? Because I love Mikey. Y'all know their Christmas album, The Prettiest Thing That I've Ever Seen. Something, something, waiting for me, all of my dreams, these memories. I love Mikey on the Christmas album, and I love when Mikey's on the show because he's the only brother. And they have so much fun with him. Can you imagine being the only boy growing up with all those girls? And he's no problem. He's not problematic. I like, I love Mikey. Y'all think that we can get, let's put your bees in those. Well, <laughs> let me know if y'all want to see more of Mikey. One or yes, two or no. I want more of Mikey. He, he is one, but maybe the excitement around him is because we don't get to see him as much. But I always liked when Mikey was on the show. So if y'all going to bring back Braxton Family Values, which I say y'all are, can we please make sure that Mikey is showing up a little bit more? Because I love the Mikey. And then also, is this on WeTV? Or is this on another network? Because y'all remember when Tamar had that show and it was all of that mess and Eon Van Zahn was supposed to be doing something with it. Is it supposed to be on WeTV or is this going to be on another network? Either way, I miss the Braxtons on my TV. I miss them. And I don't want none of that drama stuff that y'all kept doing on the show. I like to win. Braxton Family Values was a fun family. Listen to Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Listen to me. I liked when the Braxton Family Values was a fun family show. They was just doing regular stuff, birthday parties, getting drunk, <laughs> DUIs, all of that stuff. Just being a regular family. Cooking contests, playing with each other's kids, doing concerts for Tony Braxton. That's what I loved. I don't want none of that VH1 mess that y'all got going on. I don't want none of that highfalutin. Not not highfalutin. I do want the highfalutinness. I don't want none of that mess y'all got going on. Trina been acting a fool down to the um Instagram. I want to see her in her raggedy house. And being regular. Remember, Trina barely had on makeup and wigs in the first. Her first couple of seasons, just look at a mess. I want that Trina back. 
I want this. Give me this. You know what I'm saying? Serve. I want that Trina back. I want to, to be honest, and I know she with that other guy, and I really don't like him. Where's the first? Where's Andre? Where's Andre? I want scenes of Andre. I want to know how her and Andre are co-parenting. Is he in another relationship? What's going on with him? How does he raise kids? I want to know what's going on with Andre. I don't care if y'all don't care about him. I want to know what's going on with Andre. Tony really never gave us anything, so she could just, I mean, she could still be on the show. I mean, I guess. Tamar got enough for her own show. So bring that to us. What's going on with this white man that you dating? What is going on with this white man that you dating? You on, you off, you Who robbed you, sis? To know what's going on. Do you live in that apartment that you live with in an apartment next door? Y'all remember she had bought that condo, but then she also bought the, con the condo next door because she wanted the condo next door to be her closet and the other one to be her main house. Do you have a townhome? Do you still live in that apartment complex? What is going on? To be honest, unapologetic, I don't care about Birdman and I don't want to see Tony Braxton with Birdman. When I saw that video of him robbing those people still or taking their chains and stuff like that, I, I've i always thought so highly and classy of Tony Braxton. You know, it was weird when she started dating Birdman. But then to know that there was news out here of him still shooting up, busting them up, robbing the people, holding them at gunpoint. And then I was thinking, Tony, this is your man. And then they had a secret wedding. This is your man's. I don't think of you as classy anymore. You a hood rat just like the rest of them. And even though Tony Braxton, she showed more body than most of the girls, I still thought of her as classy and getting, you know, you know, up there with the girls. But you ghetto. You are ghetto. It's giving Baltimore where you're from. It's giving several Merlin. I'm sorry. I could do without JR camera time. We can act like he doesn't. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I want to see Logie and Vincent. Where are they at? I don't see the connection with Birdman. The money. The money. Hate to say it, the money. And he robbing people's jewelry. The money. Let, let me uh, so, no, thank for the truth. Let me show y'all. Let me see if I can find that. What's that that man's name? Birdman Little Drewski. I think his name is Little Drewski. Is the one he robbed. Let me see if I can find a video. Was it Little Drewski? Do y'all remember who it was? That he robbed him and there was video evidence of the robbing. Was no Wasn't a little Drewski? Somebody said, I'm gonna give Tony Grace. It may have been a, a midlife crisis. Okay, but how long does that last? Girl, no. No, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. I can't find the video, but I did it on one of my busy blue and associates morning meetings where I talked about it. Cause, Oh, here it is. Here's the survey footage. Hold on y'all. This is the survey footage of her man still being out here in these streets, robbing people. It was Lil Drewski. Look, let's watch. That's Birdman right there. That's Lil Drewski. That's Birdman. And they running from him. She's dating a criminal. She's dating a criminal. Eb, she's not with him anymore. I need to see the receipts. 
I need to see the receipts. She's not with him anymore. I need to see the receipts. Do we get overtime for attendance meeting? You barely got here. The people know you just woke up. You bet. You lucky. You still in the meeting. She's dating a criminal. Next story. Let's move. Let's keep moving on, because I'm not going to give that criminal more time. Uh, Candace Owens. She be right half the time, but she said that she is mad at Lizzo. Let's listen to what she has to say. I don't like it. It's your problem. It's like, no, you are being problematic. And now you're playing the game where you do something outrageous. And then when we outrage, you pretend that we're the crazy ones. I'm not dealing. You stop gaslighting me. Okay. You're very large and you got your ass cheeks out on the side of the court at a basketball game. I am, I'm allowed to now comment on that. I reserve the right to now comment on that. And I do. And then they pull it out. And the kid is just coming after Lizzo. And then she's like, I reserve the right to comment on that. First of all, shut up. Just shut up. So she has a problem with Lizzo. Now, Lizzo, gra. Let's let's talk about it, gra. Time and place. Not at the I mean, I guess at the basketball game. Because I let me shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. And you know why I'm gonna shut up? Because I don't go to basketball games. Don't go to basketball games. Been to a couple of basketball games in my life at Howard University. Don't know who's shooting a free throw or a fool's ball, or whatever. Don't know nothing about it. So maybe the girls do be twerking in the audience and you don't like it because you said you're very large. My thing is, let the people live how they live. Wasn't she the same one talking about my daughter won't be in birth school? You have so much. I feel like, Candace, you're going to be a problematic mother because if it wasn't she the one who said that her daughter's not going to be able to get on birth control. You have so much agency over your child's body. You're weird. I just think it's very weird. No shade to the people. It's weird for the government, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, or individuals who think that they have agency over women's bodies. We're not telling men to get vasectomies, but we are so gung ho about what women need to do about birth control and all of that stuff. It's very weird to me. And Candace, you're weird. Your weird boots. And then if the girl want to show her booty at the, um, let her be embarrassed and let that be that. If you think that the embarrassment is coming and it's inappropriate, she going to get grilled anyway. Why do you need to speak and say anything? How about you shut up? Oh, Epp said that's a very old video of Lizzo. So then why is she bringing it up? Candace, get a life. Like, really get a life. You went to Howard University. I visited there. This Howard University, oh, I guess you can't see it. It's here every time. Yes, I went to Howard. H U, you know. Live and let live and do what makes you happy. And that's it. And that's it. Speaking of another thing that's going to make me happy, because I, I don't want that lady on my screen. Speaking of another thing that's going to make me happy. Escaping SWV is coming back for the show. And we all need it. And we all need it. Now, these are some questions. Somebody take these notes down. Somebody take these notes down. Okay. We never got resolved. At the end of the SWV escape show. Okay. Now, Little Birdie told me that SWV doesn't even really want to work with SK because it's too much of a problem. Okay? But let's just start here. One. How many... <laughs> How many albums? That's what... <laughs> How many gospel albums did Latasha sell? That's the first thing that I want to know. I want to know how many albums did Latasha sell? Okay. She wanted to go <laughs> on her own. She wanted to do her own thing. I want to know how many albums did Latasha Scott sell? Tell me now. Do it now. I want to know, did their mother 
apologize to Tamika because she is definitely owed an apology for the BS that the mom and Tasha and Rocky was doing to Tamika. Mika is owed an apology. Several. Did they apologize to Mika? Okay. I want to know if he's still managing her stuff. I also want to know what's going on with the open relationship. Is somebody writing this down? Is somebody writing this down? Latasha, what's going on with the open relationship? You remember um, Tasha K interviewed the mistress and Latasha was like, well, we have an open relationship and it's not. Girl, so is he still in that lady? The, the people want to know. The people want to know. Is there open relationship? Is there a separate child? Is there a separate child? Good question, so that did you give the money back to your sister? Where are the coins? Did you give the money back to your sister? Wagwan. We need to know. Are y'all having another tour? And is it going to be a real one with SWB and Escape? Can we go to it? Y'all did one Canadian show and y'all really tried to pull the wool over the girl's eyes. Did y'all get this show because Candy has pulled at the network and she's not on Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore? Are y'all doing a real tour? Did that book come out that old girl was writing about uh, munching carpets? Did that sex book come out? Where can we find it? Where can we buy it? Did she ever finish, finish that erotic novel? What happened with the court cases with Tiny and T.I.? Why, how did they disappear? Do people still listen to and take up Candy's music that she's writing? Is she still a songwriter? Did old girl son ever finish dental school? Is he still in dental school? Or did he just really pursue singing? The people have questions. Y'all have the answers. And if you're going to do this show, give us the answers. Speaking of Candy Burris and everything that's going on with um Atlanta, this is my next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to play the video first, and then we're going to talk about it. But it looks like NeNe Leakes and Portia Gorbadia Williams, whatever she wants to be called today, uh, have a, a little bit of beef. And I'm going to play this video in its entirety, and then we're going to talk about it. Um, but it looks like Portia got some problems with Nini, and it's kind of weird. Let's talk about it. A disappointing video, but nonetheless, here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that... Um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, in Upshaws, it's Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. Um, directing this particular episode is Kim Fields. Um, I was excited to do it. It's a comedy. I love comedy. I used to have a comedy show out on the road. Some of you guys know. So comedy is something that I love to do and, and was really happy to do it. Uh, as the talks went on, we agreed up on whatever we agreed up on. Um, I was fly out to I was to fly out to LA on Tuesday. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are going to kill this part. I get to um, 
uh, LA on Tuesday. They tell me to go straight to, you know, to the studios. I need to go into wardrobe. Uh, once I got into wardrobe, um, I had chosen to wear like this silver color. Uh, they showed me a picture of Portia. They said that Portia's wearing something similar in color and uh, maybe I would choose something else because we were gonna be, you know, side by side doing this scene, no problem. Um, I gave them a whole different look. Um, they told me we were gonna be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were going to do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I want to, you know, make that Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. Uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were going to recast the position that Portia was playing. I was like, what? Why? And they said, do you have any issues with Kim Zosiak, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo Hampton? And I was like, no, like I just saw Kim. So just to cut in the middle, what's going on right here is that they both are casting for a show, right? The Upshaws, which I haven't watched yet, which I, I think I need to. But it's a, it's a very popular show that people love Upshaws. Um, I, I wish it was on that like network television, but I think it's on Netflix, right? But the people love Upshaws. Uh, like, I only hear good things about Upshaws. It seems like her and Portia were casted. Everything was going well. I think what's weird about this story is that she knew what Portia was wearing, and then Nene was decided that she was going to change. So it seemed like all contracts, everything went through. It just it, That's what it seems to me. It seems like everything went through. So much so that they, she went straight to the set. She was like, okay, maybe she should change it to something else because... Porsche is going to be wearing this. And if y'all going to be side by side, y'all want to look like twins. Maybe you should decide something else. And she's like, okay, so cool, whatever. Then the filming wrapped. And then the next day they're like, do you have somebody that you're not, that you don't have problems with? What about Kim? What about Cynthia? What about all these other people? And she's like, well, I mean, I guess, sure. And I would have felt, I would have been taken aback too. Like, wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? What do you mean people I don't have problems with? Are, is, are there people that you can work with and you don't have any issue with? What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I mean, I guess sure. I guess sure, I mean sh sure. Yeah, I I, I talked to Kim. I I seen Cynthia. Yeah, yeah sure. It just really. It, it, I don't know. But let's get back to it, y'all. Recently, and we talked. Um, I saw. I, I talked to Cynthia Bailey often. I talked to Marlo Hampton often. Um, no, like. They ultimately cast Cynthia Bailey, and she was flown out to L.A. on Wednesday. We did the uh, part together. Um, I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, that we had had uh, issues from the past, and she did not want to work with me. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, I am more than disappointed. Portia and I have double dated a few times, okay? Um, okay. Simon had a birthday. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out. Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have to hang out. I am more than Simon had a birthday. I will say this. Um, I think what's weird, and y'all put your beats in the comments for Eb because she definitely did uh write down all of the things that I asked. 
put your bees in the comments for Eb. And I wanted to know your cash app, Eb. I asked you that if you could put it into the chat. Oh, uh, because she wrote down all of the stuff. And then also, if you made it to this part of the video in post, hashtag Dubai. Hashtag Dubai. Yeah, I remember I'm doing my every week. I'm going to try to do a cash app. Or every two weeks, I'm going to try to do a cash app. Somebody said one, three, and five. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe because I could do five dollars, uh, one, three, and fives or whatever. They said whoever. And remember, it's in post. So if y'all doing this in this live video, it doesn't make sense. Okay, come back and do it later. But if you get to this part of the video and you're watching this in post, hashtag Dubai, and maybe you'll get a treat from me. Um, but anyway, um, it sounds like she was doing a lot of stuff with Portia and Simon, with her and Yoni. The question. Tell me in the comments. Didn't y'all think that her and Yoni broke up? Because I'm so confused about if they're together or not. I thought her and Yoni not together. Now they are together. They're not together. They was doing dates together. I thought that, and she was doing, y'all remember when Nene was doing all those cryptic messages? I could do it too. She was doing all of that. Now are they together? I thought, so, okay, so Em said they back together. Didn't they break up? And then she was calling him a narcissist? What happened to all of that? Nene is confused on the place. I don't understand it. So when did they get back together? Because remember, she was doing all those cryptic posts. She was like, when you see a narcissist, you know what to do. And she was calling him a narcissist. She was doing interviews. I, I had to back away because I understood. So you got back with a narcissist? This too much. So either way, she thought she thought it was weird that her and Portia had problems because it was like, girl, we done been together. How we got beef? How do we have beef and we done been together? Let's keep going, y'all. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out. Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have to hang out, party, drink. My son came over, brought hookahs. We ate African food, had a great time. Of course, Portia had a wedding and I'm at her wedding. Um, I've seen Portia in Atlanta out. We've laughed and talked. I am shocked that Portia would go to a production company. I am shocked to hear that Portia would go to a production company and say that she doesn't want to work with me because we've had a lot of issues in the past. What lots of issues that we had in the past. Mind you guys, I haven't been a housewife in over four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, we've got... Now, I got to stop her here. I have to stop her here. I have to stop her here. Do y'all remember? Do y'all remember? Okay. Y'all remember when Nene, well, you know, Nene Leaks is a celebrity. She like, she just is. She's a household name. The girls know her. She is a celebrity. Y'all remember when she was on the Celebrity Apprentice? I miss those days. I really do miss those days of Celebrity Apprentice. But y'all remember when she was on Celebrity Apprentice and she was talking to Star Jones and Star Jones was telling her, as black women, we need a da -da 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 -da. And Nene was so upset. Why we got to bring black women into this? What is this a black woman thing? And Star Jones was like, yeah, look, girl, I've been in this industry for a very long time, way longer than you have, bro. I'm just telling you, we got to sit together. We got to do these things. We got to work together. We, we have to support each other. We got to do all of this stuff. When it comes to the industry, when it comes to the people who are signing the check, we got to work together. We got to do it. And as a black woman, you should know this. And y'all remember Nene was like, oh, my God, here we go, Star Jones. 
with the black women, black women, black women, black women, black women, black women. She has such an issue about it. She has such an issue about it. She could not take it. Why the black women got a black women, black women, black women? Why you got to bring it to black women? This is not a black issue. That's when she was smelling herself a little bit. She was feeling herself. Yeah, I remember Nene, she was too, too big for her britches. Oh, it's a black women thing. It's not a black women thing. It's a, oh, but let's let's rewind this tape a little bit, y'all. Let's rewind this just a little bit. Four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call. Now we black women. Now we got to talk about the black women. What goes around, goes around, goes around, comes all the way back around. Yeah. Child. Let me let y'all listen to the rest of this. Call a black woman angry. Oh. Hold on, y'all. I done messed up the screen share. Now she worried about the black women's. Now Nene, all black women's. Now it's black power. Y'all remember before she was like, oh, here we go, Star Jones. Now we talk about black women. Now she black power, y'all. Issues that we had in the past. Mind you guys, I haven't been a housewife in over four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, we've got problems, I can't work with them on set, that is a death trap for a black woman in the industry. We don't have any issues that we can't work together. We are professionals. We get on set and we work together and do what we got to do. Your issues in the past, if you had to pick a housewife, it certainly wouldn't be with me. It would have been with Kenya. It would have been with Candy. Those were your major issues. We've had petty things. We're on a reality show. So we obviously are going to have some sort of issues, but we've not had anything where we could not work together. I'm sad and disappointed that Portia would go to any company and say that she's had issues with me and we cannot work together. That is a lie. I text her. So it's not like I'm doing this video. I didn't text her. I text her and she sent me a text back saying that she's going through her divorce and I didn't reach out to little sis. Are you serious? You and your husband were just happy and smiling in Dubai. Hey Siri, how old is Portia Williams? Mm -hmm. 42 years old. Okay, little sis. I thought you guys were having a fight and maybe you guys are gonna get back together. I don't know what y'all personal business are. I don't wanna be nosy, okay? I don't wanna invade your privacy. Maybe you need some time. I don't know what you need. I was happy to see her and talk to her and chop it up then. I don't want to pry. Yes, Yanni and Simon are hanging out together, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm not hanging out with Simon. Yanni's hanging out with Simon. I can't change this relationship with that man. I wouldn't let him change my relationship with Portia. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing that you would do that. It's very disappointing, and people need to stop. They need to stop doing that. That's not right. When Portia and I were on Housewives together, um, she was divorcing her first husband and I fought for Portia to stay on the show. I went to production and talked to whoever I needed to talk to at Bravo to just put my two cents in that I felt like she should stay on the show. Um, when she drug Kenya off that couch, she was saying all kinds of things. I got down on my knees and put my hand over her mouth so that she wouldn't dig herself into a bigger hole than she was already in. Um, the bottom line is Portia did not want to share the spotlight. That's it. And uh, professionals can share the spotlight. Um, Portia is not a star. She is a Bravo celebrity. Be very clear, Portia is not a star. She is a Bravo celebrity, y'all. This is some crazy mess. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like Portia is a star or she's just a Bravo celebrity? I mean, I don't hear about her outside of you know when I'm talking about Bravo or anything that pertains to uh, pertains to the Bravo house of Atlanta or anything on Bravo. So I guess 
Y'all, this is crazy. Who side y'all on? Portia or um, Nini's? I'm on Nini's side, but girl, that whole black women thing got to go. Got to go because I stand with you. You think that Nini is a Bravo celebrity? Nini is a star. Nini is a star. Nini is a star. Now, now, uh, unapologetic, uh, Ramel, you, I'm with you when you're wrong, but you, I mean, with you right, with, but you are definitely wrong today. Nini is a star. Nini is a star. Beyond Housewives, Nini is a star. Whose side y'all on? Nini's side or Portia's side? Put Nini or Portia, depending on whose side you want. Actually, put Nini's side or Portia's side, depending on whose side you want, if y'all watching this in post as well. I'm on Nini's side. Now, the whole uh, black women's thing, girl, uh, was it you the one who was like, this is not a black issue? No, no don't try to use this the, the stuff now, sis. Don't try to use it now, sis. But I'm on Nini's side. Portia, what did she do for you? And you told me something when you didn't reach out to little sis, and that's why you uh, turned down the job? And then you try to make it seem like I'm the one who's wrong because I didn't reach out to you for your divorce that we all don't even know what's going on with it? You haven't even spoke up on it. What am I reaching out for? Especially if I was just dining out and dining with you in Dubai. If I was just out here dining for you in Dubai. <laughs> make it make sense. Where's make it make sense? Shout out to Mims. I was just dining out with you, me and Yanni. It's, I can't. Y'all, tell me how y'all felt about all of these stories. Do Are y'all excited about the Braxton Family Values coming back? What storylines do you want to see from the Braxton Family Values? Please put that into the description box. Do y'all want me to cover it? Because I do love Braxton Valley, Family Values. I will do it. Um, How y'all feel about, what else did I talk about? Candace Owens saying that Lizzo's too fat to be outside. Do y'all like Candace Owens? Do you feel like Lizzo's doing too much? How y'all feel about... SWV and Escape coming back. If SWV and Escape does come back, what storylines do you want to hear from last season that we need to continue on and make sure that we understand? And then what's what's going on with this whole Nini and Cynthia and Portia B? Sorry, Nini and Portia B, but now Cynthia had to get a job because of it. Whose side are you on? Hashtag Team Nini, hashtag Team Portia. Um, remember, if you are watching this in post, make sure that you write hashtag whatever the word I said was in the uh, uh, earlier part of the video. Um, and then you may get something special for me. Y'all, I want to say, I think each and every single one of y'all, let me call um so Deb so he can say goodbye to y'all. Um, because he did start the video off with me. So at least let me make sure that he ends the video with me so he can say goodbye to everybody um who came into this Saturday meeting. I'm so sorry I couldn't do a Friday one. I got so busy. You want to say goodbye? Can you say goodbye to the people? Goodbye to the people. Goodbye to the people. Yes, talk to you later. Bye. All right. If y'all all want to know more about me and everything else I have going on, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can also find me on Twitch, Busy Blue, where this is definitely streaming right now. I love each and every one of y'all. Make sure you have a really good weekend. I'm about to go get busy, and you all stay busy. Shout out to Ed Watts. Uh, Till next time.